I'm Em, and this is my first ever special effects tutorial video, or whatever do you want to call it, I don't know. I should probably come up with a name. Anyway, today I decided to do something simple since it's my first one and dinner is almost done, so I decided to do a bruise or a black eye. Could go anywhere to be honest. Um... All products will be listed below, if I remember. Sorry. <laughs> also, as a side note, I can't find the SD card to my actual camera, so I'm using my webcam. So bear with me in the really crappy quality. I'm super sorry. I will try to find that as soon as possible to make more videos if this even goes as planned. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Oh, as you can see, I'm not very good at intros, so let's just get started. The first thing I do to create this look is use a dark red blush from my NYX Professional Makeup Makeup Artist Kit. And what this does is make it look like you're irritated, like it just happened, basically. Now, still working from the same palette, I'm using the dark brown eyeshadow and doing the same exact thing that we did with the bronzer which is just outlining my eye going on the brown bone and the very top of the cheekbone. Now is where we finally switch palettes which now I am going to use the Ben Nye FX color wheel and this one is Cake One Bruises. Basically you just want to blend the brown and the dark blue together. I found it best to put it on a q-tip and just dab it on. Like don't, don't even worry about blending at this point because it's a bruise and it's going to look kind of splotchy. You put that right on the cheekbone and come around and do it on the brow bone. And you want to blend that up toward your eye instead of down. With all the reddish brown that you put under your eye before, it should look kind of puffy. It gives the illusion that your eye is swollen, but if you're still not happy with it, you can go ahead and make like bags under your eye with the purple and the q-tip. Going into the greenish yellow, some bruises have that tint to it, and you don't want to put this in the bruise, you have to put it around the bruise. And this gives it like almost an aged look, almost like it's healing a little bit but if it just happened you don't have to do this step right here i blended the greenish yellow color a little bit too well with the other so i'm going back in and dabbing with the brown in the dark blue Right now I'm judging to see how it looks on camera, which I don't really like how brown it is. And you can add a, like, a little bit more purple in there if you want, but in order for it to show up on crappy webcams and to look a little more gruesome in person, you're going to want to switch palettes again. And in this case I went back to the NYX Professional Makeup Makeup Artist Kit and I'm going back in and touching up my uh, dark red blush and putting just a tiny bit more 
brown and purple to make the color stand out a little bit more. But you're going to want to go back in with the Q-tip method and I'm using Ben Nye FX Color Wheel Cake 5 Burns and Blisters and I'm taking the reds and I'm going and dabbing back in and darkening right under my eye so it makes it a little bit more swollen than it looked before. And what I'm doing right now is taking the darkest color in this palette which is uh, this purple and I'm putting it directly on my eye and I'm just moving outward with it. Switching back to the NYX Professional Makeup Makeup Artist Kit, I am using the black eyeshadow and a smaller eyeshadow brush and just brushing it right on my eye. This gives it a little bit more depth. Once you're about happy with how it looks, remember it doesn't have to be perfect because no bruise is, that would be kind of weird if it was. Just brush off the excess eyeshadow with your finger and you're all done. And also if you want it to look more realistic, all you have to do is squint that one eye and you're good to go. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave a comment. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to contact me. Whatever. If you like this video, like it. Um, any suggestions you have, please leave a comment down below. Like what if what you want to see. Next video, <laughs> what did I even just say? <laughs> oh no. I am so tired. I will definitely do another technique because this, this video kind of sucked. Oh, I'll fix it later. <laughs> I need an after.